me You've lied But that's all that you care You're doing it so easy You're trying to spin my mind You say you have a heart That's one thing you left behind Comes a man up on my Enough to make you true One more day of deceiving I'm wondering what to do Well, you think you can break me But I've been broken long before you Uh, this is Mike from Unitex here at CNR for their weigh-in. Usual guy Steve isn't here today. He didn't make it, so this is what we got for him. So we're going to see. Isabella might pull it through today. This is the biggest stuff we got here today from CNR so far. So we're going to have to wait to see. They got two more coming. This is Mike Walston from Unitex. And this is the CNR Center for Nursing and Rehab. On Clawson Avenue in Brooklyn. This is their submission for today. The usual guy Steve called out, so we're gonna have to go with this. But as you can see, the bins are not are, are not packed as tight as usual, so we're gonna have to go with it. It's almost like a forfeit. It's too bad. Too bad for them. Since Steve hadn't made it in, we had to go up to Isabella and see what they had to offer for the challenge. Uh, we met with a guy named Reggie, also known as the Bronx Bomber. So that's why we have Yankee Stadium in the background. Go ahead. This is Isabella. Just want to let you guys know the title is still ours. And uh, I don't think you could beat us, man. Look at this. Linen, baby. Soiled linen. Let's go, answer the challenge, boys.
We have stated a challenge that you cannot handle. This is the Brooklyn Executioner. I will finish you in the linen. Step to me. Step to me. It was at this time that I known that I had met a real competitor, a real challenger, and a real warrior in this sword linen battle. Unitex driver Mike here at the weigh-in. Today the champion is Isabella. You see Isabella here? Here's their weight for today. That's the championship. Been for today, not really that good. Anthony, what do you think about uh, the uh, Isabella's chances on taking a championship this Man, year? Man, I know Isabella can do better than that. It's I know they can really stack it up real high, you know? CNR has been pulling it out lately, though. But today yeah. was today they forfeited because their guy didn't show up. Yeah, they forfeited. I know Isabella can do it. So yeah. you're an Isabella fan? Yeah, I'm a big Isabella fan. I know they, I know they can make snow cones. You know, okay. I think that's the way they do it. They got to probably make snow cones. Right. But they got to step on it, you know, step on the, step on the soil. Maybe, maybe delete, maybe take the air out of the bags. Yeah, take the air out of the bags. And you know, you got to feed them a little prune juice, you know. Yeah, no, you know, if they, like I said, if they feed the old people some prune juice, maybe they'll, you know, shit the bed a little more. There you go. <laughs> that's it. This is Truck Driver Mike here on the Unitex channel with Driver and Ben Extraordinaire Anthony. That's it. We out. <laughs> it was at this time that I realized that between Steve getting uh, replaced with the Brooklyn Executioner and the Bronx Bomber getting ready to go head to head, this was going to be a real, real battle. Probably, you know, probably even more exciting than, like, say, the Super Bowl or some kind of sporting event. This thing was going to be really exciting. And there was also about to be a new player in the field. Over here we have a professional, an absolute veteran of the sword linen trade, making what he calls a torpedo. That's Morgan Freeman, the hey, actor from Hollywood. Don't film me now, man. What are you doing? God, Big Red was about to give me a lesson in the Kingsbrook Torpedo. You ready? Go ahead, Red. Tell me. This right here, 150 pounds. It's this, called the Torpedo. This is the submission the from Kingsbrook uh -huh. Hospital. That's right. 150 pounds by itself. I'll tell you, Red, this bin right here should literally be in the art museum in New York City. This is a You're piece right. of art right You're here. You're right. Tell me about Kingsbrook. The sexy crew. The sexy crew. The sexy crew. Sexy crew. Yes. Now let me go get my ladies, and we're gonna show you all the sexy crew. Oh, come on. What do you got to say to all competition? This is Team Sexy it's from KJMC. Ow! And truck driver Mike won't win this competition, y'all. Hey, yes. <laughs> right. Act it? like you know. Act like That's you it. want it. That's it. We got work to do. Yo, where we are strong? Listen, he has bet that you get seven hundred or eight hundred. Is this the winning? Is this the winning it's submission? Right. Is this, uh, the, is this the championship here? Yes, Diaz! Diaz gonna win! Steven Diaz! <laughs> He's gonna win the one more! Steven Diaz! Steven Diaz! Steven Diaz. Yeah. <laughs> What's the high number for today? Yeah, this is Mike Driver from Unitex. Here after a pickup at CNR, I'm just letting you, everybody see this winning bin for today. I don't even know how much it weighs yet, but it's a real piece of art. Look at that sucker. Not even cardboard used for that one. So I mean, this man should literally have his own ex exhibition in the Met. That's the art museum. I'm serious. This guy, Steve, is, is wonderful. And we are live in Central Park for Todd Glickman. I'm Marla Diamond, WCBS News Radio 880. Don't go anywhere, Todd, because we're going to need you in just a moment. Traffic and weather together at 808 begins with John Grimmer. Right, and I'll tell you, Alex, we are seeing the closure of the Verizano Bridge cause for delays here at the Staten Island Expressway eastbound, backed up into the bridge. The upper level is what's closed. Delays are back from Todd Hill Road. It's yeah, this is truck, my, truck driver Mike here at Isabella with the Brooklyn bomb, I mean the Bronx bomb, excuse me. 
I just want to ask you, what did you think about the video from the Brooklyn Executioner? I saw the video. You know, it was pretty cool. It was pretty clever. But it is what it is. We the champions. You see this right here? Back up for a minute, Mike. This bin right here and it's an empty bin in any other man's hands. But in my hands, it becomes an immovable object. The drivers here, they don't want to come here and take this linen because they know what's going to happen. They're going to have a sprained wrist. They're going to have a, a, a messed up back. So we the champions over here. But take a look at this empty bin. See now, nice and empty, because that goes from that, from zero to 100 real quick, this high. 700 pounds, easy. So that title that y'all got, just send it all over with Mike, you know, give it to him so we can put it where it really belongs. Isabella all day, let's go. Bronx <laughs> bomber, kid. <laughs> That's the challenge going out to the Brooklyn Executioner. I'm sure he's gonna have a response. I'm ready for war or oh, yeah. That's the question. Damn. Okay, this is Truck Driver Mike out. All right, this is Mike here with Anthony today. Hey, but hey, people, this is Anthony again. And uh, we just just talking about Isabella. Today you made another video, Anthony. Oh, where absolutely. They, where they said I have to show it to you later. They said uh, they, they're up to the challenge. <clears throat> Laid forth by CNR. Oh, so, what's your what's your thoughts? Well, my thought is Isabella. They they're getting there. You know, I got a six fifteen from them, and you know, I mean CNR. I mean that the two seven hundreds, man. I don't know, man. Well, they already they already and have. It's like Kingsbrook trying to come in the game too. Yo, oh, yeah. Well, Kingsbrook, they're they're in the game, but they don't even know it yet. I have to we have to you know let them in. Absolutely. But we got a, we got a five sixty eight right there on the on the scale now. Hey man, oh, Isabella gave me a six fifteen yesterday. Six fifteen, oh, it's yeah, well. man. They, 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 he, 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 sure, he, he got one big bend over there. When he filled that up, I guarantee you that's gonna be eight hundred plus. Well, you, you're, you're a master at your predictions, Anthony. Oh, absolutely, I am. So, you know, I'd like to say thank you, and we're we'll signing out. All right. <laughs> Maybe you've seen video of this bipedal bear that walks on its legs. The bear has gone MIA. So many people had video of this bear walking through their house. I mean, it looks like Yogi Bear because he's on his hind legs and he's looking through trash cans. Uh, this hunter, for some reason, he's called out Thomas McCreary. He says he didn't kill the bear. I don't know. He doesn't know why he's been identified in social media. In fact, he says he didn't even take part in the bear hunt last week. You better watch your back. This is uh, truck driver Mike over here at Kingsbrook with Miss Renee. And Miss Renee, yeah, dear. I know you saw the video from uh, the Washington Heights Isabella and yeah. the Brooklyn execution over there at CNR. What's your thoughts? You ain't got nothing on KJMC, baby. All right, we got, I heard about a snow cone. We have the torpedo. Okay, you want weight, you come to KJMC. What about the um, guy at Isabella said that uh, his bins become immovable objects? <laughs> We got bombs, okay? We drop big bombs over here at KJMC. Y'all may have weight. We got quality and quantity. Can't beat that. Well, that's truck driver Mike with Miss Renee. And uh, we'll have to see it the way in. This is the inside, baby. You don't know what the outside look like. <laughs> I can tell you, it looks pretty bad. So <laughs> we'll see you next time. All right. Yeah, this truck driver like over here, Kingsbrook. So, so we go. To, I don't go to CNR anymore. I gotta look for a new champion. I think I found him. Look at these bins. I'm over here in the pre-dawn hours over in Brooklyn, New York. And all that stuff's wet. So that's some heavy stuff. So we're gonna see you at the weigh-in. I'm gonna have a new challenger for King for uh, Isabella. Out. This truck driver Mike here with the Kingsburg weigh-in. The torpedo, the legendary torpedo. What's the weight? 600 even. Bam. Out of all the characters I've met in this competition, this guy here is definitely the craziest, Mr. Mantis. This truck driver Mike over here at Isabella. 
my man Reggie, the Bronx Bomber. And as you can see in the background, we got a, a nice large selection of soil today. Look at that. I mean, I don't know. It's all beauty. Reg, I see you got the belt. Oh, yes. Let me hold and this up. also, well, we'll start with the belt. What, with the what's belt. your thoughts on that and, and seeing our giving it up? Uh, they surrendered. Like I, I mean, I'm pretty sure they were going to do it eventually. They did a little bit sooner than I thought. And I guess I started putting the pressure on. So, you know, right now the king is in, on top. I should have had this belt a long time ago, matter of fact. I didn't even know how they had it, but I made my statement, you know. So. Well, to be honest with you, they see, um, the Brooklyn executioner seemed kind of intimidated by you. Yeah? He really oh, did. I like that. So, job uh, well done. Now, also, we also have the Kingsbrook sexy oh. crew in the game now. I like What's your thoughts. I like Kingsbrook. I like you know they got the charisma, they got everything. The sexy crew, you know that's cute and all, but you want to challenge this over here? It's, it's a whole nother ball game. It's the big leagues now. So Kingsbrook, I'm sending you the warning now. Just don't do it. You know, just walk away because it gets intense over here, as, as you can see in the background. Well, good, getting down to the actual weights of the stuff, Rich. We've had you. You've had about a six fifteen. Has been about your heaviest. Mm -hmm. Kingsbrook's showed up with a 630 so it's mm, coming down to the wire okay, okay so i'm liking that i like i got fighting yeah that's what i want i want a challenge but ultimately in the end you may win the battle but i'm going to win the war that's it's, how we so do the torpedo way. didn't scare you really nah, much no 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 man I, I i got some more tricks in the bag but i ain't gonna say it yet but the torpedo I, it's all right i mean look like a, a version of the snow cone so oh you know. <laughs> well miss renee says that they got quality and quantity over there so I, you know, it's going to come down to the wire, my man. But we'll get one last shot of you yeah, with goes. the belt. And hopefully, it'll be sitting there right on your wall. That's right. I'm going to put it up in here somewhere. Uh, Kingsbrook, I'm looking forward to it. If you decide to go through with it. But I'm telling you, the results are not going to be nice in the end. And some of, some of the latest news, we also had Jamaica Hospital wanting to get in and again. Oh, yeah, okay. And a couple in New Jersey talking some shit. All right. right. Well, Jersey, you know, we right next to each other, so... To all the challenges out there, anytime, any place, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> anywhere. All right, we're out here. <laughs> in the meantime, back in Brooklyn, a disturbing thing was happening. Hey, out there, all the cool kids out there in that cool world. We got the Brooklyn Executioner. We facing on uh, Kingsbrook Gang, the Prince Brook, whatever y'all want to call yourselves. The dudes from the Bronx. Uh, this guy right here. Good one. There you Bronx. go, sir. For the Bronx bomb. You say you took it up to a hundred. I'm taking it up to a thousand, prima donna. Tell him, tell him. And I'm tired of hearing about Pink's broke weight. I'm about to finish you. I'm taking it to a thousand. I'm crushing you guys. I'm coming back for my title. Strong style. All right, then. There you go. My name is Commentator D. Let me see you top this. There's no way they could do that, sir. I mean, that shit is, a, oh, excuse me, that uh, that bit is at least eight uh, feet high. You know what I mean? Weighing in. That goes out to the light and sexy crew, too. The old, grown, and sexy crew coming for the title. It's over. Hello, everyone. This is truck driver Mike. And I have the pleasure today of actually having the championship belt here. CNR gave it up. I'm going to take it up to Isabella today and show them. And probably keep it until we make the judgment on who's the number one. So just like let everybody know. And we may be making our determination very soon. But right now I gotta drive up to New York City, so and there's a big accident, so truck driver Mike signing out. Yeah, we got Yeah, we got some weight coming in from Kingsbrook today. We got a high number. have a new champion. Good morning everybody, this is truck driver Mike over here in Brooklyn at Kingsbrook and uh, had a scare this morning. 
thought I lost the belt. I left it in another truck, but luckily the boss found it and it's still in our possession for the to be crowned on the champion. Just want to show you something here that these people deal with every day. See this poor soul here had a rough night last night. Yes, that is shit. This truck driver Mike signing out. I knew it was the last day of the competition and when I was heading over to Kingsbrook I knew they were going to have some heavy stuff because it rained the night before and I know that uh, Big Red always packs a, some serious heavy bins and when it comes down to it the old school guy knows all the tricks so I'm going to assume that Red might have a bin today that's going to win this thing so we're going to see but I'm hoping I um, think I'm voting for Kingsbrook. Good morning, people. This is truck driver Mike over here, with Big Red over here in Kingsbrook. Sexy Red. This is sexy, sexy Red. Sexy Red. And he's about to uh, make a uh, historic submission for the Heavy's Bin Challenge. Heavy's Bin Challenge. 750 right here, people. This is my torpedo. You see the round end right here? That's the head. Come back here, Mike. This is my propeller. This is why we call it the torpedo. When your guys get one of these, then y'all can relate to us. So that, Other than that, you guys have a good one. So, and happy New Year's to you guys. So that's a direct challenge to uh, direct Isabella. Challenge. Isabella. Isabella. Oh. Uh, what, what was the um? Uh, C and R. C and R. Yeah. The Brooklyn the executioner. The yeah, the executioner. Yeah. When you get something like this, he's about to get executed. All right. Oh, he's gonna get killed all the way. <laughs> Shit. Well, that's. Hey. And we, well, we thank y'all for the belt. We might decide to get it to you next year. I actually might be giving the belt out tomorrow. Hey, well, that'd be nice. So, I'll, I'll be right here take, shaking your hand with my belt. So yeah, well, here it is. Last look. And, I, and look. there you go. Next stop. Next Please stop, look. the weigh-in. It's called again, once again, the Torpedo. Truck driver Mike signing out. All right. This is the uh, submission from Kingsbrook for today. A big red. Only 637. I think they got better on there though. I'll have to wait and see. This is truck driver Mike here. Um, we're going to have to wrap this up because the uh, actual winning bin came from Kingsbrook and it was a random. Okay, we're looking at January 3rd, 2017. Looks like the championship bin. Goes to Kingsbrook and the sexy crew. And here's the weigh in number. Damn. That looks like we have it. Kingsbrook's a champion. This truck driver Mike here on the last day of the heaviest bin challenge here with the Bronx Bomber. Reggie, and Reggie, I, I, you know, you were a great competitor, man. Hate to say it, but you saw the video saw of the, the video. Kingsbrook. I saw the proof. And uh, the sexy, uh, sexy red. Se sexy red, team sexy. That's what, yeah, the, that's yeah, what yeah. he wants to be called. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I got to say, you know, congratulations to you guys. I saw it. I, I can't argue with that. It was great work. That I guess the torpedo came in handy. But well, actually, it wasn't even a torpedo that one. That, was, what, what was that? That was just a regular yeah, so it was random. A regular one. random one. It wasn't. Oh, look at that. So, um, but um, good work. But you know, like I said, um, next year, next year, baby, next season, we come back. I'm gonna come back strong. Uh, I got some stuff for y'all, man. Next season, I, you know, I'm glad I had this opportunity though to bring the best out of you because I haven't had a challenge in almost like five years here. And CNR, so, CNR just dropped. CNR, totally out, they dropped out totally. So. Kingsbrook but, is me and you now. We're but, gonna show them who the real champ is. But he's still he's still in our memories. Okay, he's still in yeah, our memories. Yes, he he was a valuable competitor and um he, he was did, good for a while. He did have two seven hundred. Yeah, he had two seven hundred. But he so. just got beat by that seven sixty yeah, that we so, saw today. So you know and Big Red and Renee over there. Yeah. And, uh, so, but I want to say, man, you were a great competitor. Thank you. And next and, uh, year, the belt will be at Kingsbrook until it comes it's back com here. It's com oh, it's coming back. Don't worry. But so. happy New Year's to you guys. Enjoy your victory because next year I'm coming. Ah, he's out.
I'd just like to say it's been a great competition this year. Uh, all the competitors, the Brooklyn Executioner, Reggie the Bronx Bomber, Big Red, Renee, everybody's been in, uh, wonderful. And the spirit of competition has been great. And I'd like to say congratulations to King's Book for winning. And uh, that being 760, man, I tried to move it. It was uh, almost immovable. I thought the daggone wheels were going to fall off that bin. So, but that is our intention. So, but I'd like to say and take it to the final video. Okay, this is truck driver Mike. It, it's on now. Okay. This is truck driver Mike okay, here in a historic Mike. night. The crowning of the heaviest bin. The heaviest bin. Goes to Kingsbrook. The best leg in the park. The man's got the belt. Queens, Bronx, man. With, with, with all five boroughs, the heaviest we bin went out to you guys. It. 760 pounds yesterday. 760 pounds. I just wish my partner was here to help me accept this, but we do appreciate it. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. And, um, wait, 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 wait. We're going to hang up. Oh, right now you want to get in on it, man. Huh? Don't, don't, worry, right. don't worry about too much about him. He don't deal with too much with the problem. Problem? Problem. How do you know how many problems? Oh, I'm going to weigh him in. Okay. See, he wants to get in on the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're in it now, man. You're in it now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that, that was my boss. That's all right. That's the boss. So this was not see. This was signed by my boss. Oh, okay. From Unitex, mm -hmm. and I signed it here. This okay. officially yeah. sanctioned by my boss. Okay. Well, all next right? year, people, we want a bigger one because we will gain again. The next five years, that's when I retire. I will be 65 then. Believe it or not. Well, Isabella said that uh, they're gonna they gotta get this back next year. It's the New Year's. I'm glad you feel that way, but wait till next year. I'll be here again. Cause like I said, I got five more years, and it's gonna be mine. So you're saying the belt is basically the this belt, is not where it's gonna be. This is gonna be here for the next five years, at least for the next five years. Yeah. But it could be bigger. And also, so. well, you gotta say this beautiful belt here was made. It is a beautiful belt. By the guy at CNR. Yeah. Oh, hey, get close up on that. Yeah. Hey. See, you officially, got it, people? officially yeah. sanctioned by my boss. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I signed it. And look at that. Yeah. The yeah. champ. Yeah. It's a nice belt. So yeah, this. Yeah, that's nice. Next this, year we're gonna color it in a little bit more, though. That's it. Well, it's a work in progress. Okay. All right. But uh, all right. well, Red, congratulations. Yes, indeed. Sir. Okay. People. The champion right here. Champ. 760 pound bin. I do what I do best when I'm at Kingsville. Yeah. It's time to get back to work. That's it. Back All to right, work, Jets. All right. Oh, God, man. Going to work is so hard these days. Got to check this mall and see who's up in here. You never know what's going to be popping out of here. Holy what? Are, are you kidding me? What is, what's, what's going on over here? Who, yo. Yo. If this is what you do, then you scare me, guy. Coming and killing everybody. The soil women trade is mine. Isabella, you're going down. Kingsbrook, you're going down. The Bronx Bomber, you're finished. I'm taking it up to a thousand. And let me tell you one more thing. I'm not walking you to the gallows. I'm not ta